the fam, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be alone. The guy who they picked on, it was the right guy because hey. I already was educated to yeah. deal with the to deal with the politics of the land because you know just like my uncle. You know, being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. eventually it was gonna come bother with me because I'm a black man. I own my own record company. That's right. I ain't affiliated with no record company. You know, ain't no white guy getting no money out of this deal right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be an easy target. Yeah. Like my yeah. uncle was. So then I became the target. Mm -hmm. You know, because at the same time I was doing the same. We were saying the same thing on record. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no different than what Dice K was saying. Yeah. Because you had comedians like Red Fox. Uh, uh, you name it, Dolomite, Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor. You had uh, Millie Jackson singing the songs. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? So we weren't the first, mm -hmm. but we were we were hip hop, we were yeah. rap, and that was the whole thing. And see, people, and that's why I say the book is important for this book to come out right now. It's important mm -hmm. for all hip hop lovers, mm -hmm. especially people in the south. Mm -hmm. You know, you they need to, they need to read this book and they'll get a clear understanding as the things. That we had to go. It's almost like this. It's almost like a slavery book. Yeah. Because we were technically enslaved. Now we had to go sit in the in the corner and not be put on tours. You know what I'm saying? Dudes doing big old tours, and we you know we didn't sold a million records, and we can't get on the tour because they wasn't having it. Now, with that being said, how important was it for you to put your comrades on? You know, you got the pit bulls. You know, the trick yeah, and, and, and that, putting and, them in the game. Exactly, and that's so. And that thing there. I mean, and 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 when you read the book, you yeah. you hear the transition, and then you look at the timeline. Mm -hmm. When you look at the timeline, nineteen ninety one, nineteen eighty six. How many record companies was around in eighty six that was putting their own artists on? The artists putting on. We revolutionized the whole game because yeah. what happened was people didn't say, man, they saw me on the cover of the Source magazine. They looked and said, man, well, I want to, uh, damn, this dude saying something. And then yeah. when we did, when guys start opening it up to us, like the Cool Mo D's and mm -hmm. all them other world and the Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince and all, when it, man, how you doing this? <laughs> and so, you know, I was putting them up on game. They want the game now. You feel me? So then guys then went back with like, yo. We want this same thing, and so that's when you started getting the LaFace records. Yeah. It became, you know, it, I mean, them. It was all, those guys were happy by giving Atlantic, giving CBS, giving all these uh, companies, giving Def Jam, who's on, who own uh, by CBS and all. They were they were happy by being on those labels. Yeah. So then now you got everybody saying, "Hey, look." You know, we want to start our own label, but then, you know, even the industry, mm -hmm. you know, they say we got to make an adjustment because this dude, Luke, mm -hmm. who we really trying to blackball mm -hmm. out the game, he done messed up the game because dudes now want to be entrepreneurs. <laughs> so now you got crews, you got the cash monies and all these yeah. people of the world. You got So So Deaf, you got Little Face Records, you got... Uh, Bad boy, yeah. you got uh all the masterpiece stuff mm -hmm. and all that. You got Swab House, you got all these, and so we at the forefront of that. Yeah. And so when I tell people they need to understand the history, we were doing that. But then what the what the industry did was they did slick. Mm -hmm. They say, man, these dudes want their own company. This would be good for us on one hand, and they could put their own guy, put their other guys on. But we can't let them have the same ownership with the masters yeah. like Luke. And so that's the part that them guys did not get because it, that's when they shut me down and they shut my voice down mm -hmm. and they blackballed me out the entire business because I didn't hip them to the game of being their own entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. But then the other part of that, you need to own your own masters. Yeah. They didn't get that. So the industry then gave them guys them production deals and they say, oh, you got a label. It's called uh, Bad Boy, but we own your masters. So then they basically get you, we'll let you produce uh, 10 artists and now your deal is worth $100 million. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. So everybody had them kind of deals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, LaFace and all of them had them kind of deals. So they did not understand the other part because they didn't. They said, we got to shut this dude's voice down.